Hello, guys. Welcome back to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. We're back in the range here. They're bringing out some new, kind of a little bit different designs of holsters for inside the waist care. Now, these are going to be holsters from the guys that rounded it. Uh, gear by Concealed Expressman. I have done reviews some of the holsters, but these are going to be uh, very minimal holsters for inside the waist. And as you can see, they are very much just something to cover the trigger, but they do attach to your light. Now they do have three different compatible lights that they offer for the weapon mount light type holsters. They are going to be the 300 Surefire XX. And also they're gonna have for the uh, TLR 1S or 1HL, whatever you may have, they have it for that. And then they have the Streamlight TLR 7, which are very popular lights nowadays. And they have those available on the side. They usually typically run around $59.99 or $59.95. So $60 uh, holsters that are gonna be very minimal. There are some pros and cons about this that I've noticed. And we'll talk about that later. But we're gonna do some few draw from concealment, see how well be the best place to carry these. Uh, I think this could be pretty much uh, easy to use inside the waist for uh, appendix or either strong size. And there's a bug here, <laughs> sorry about that. But they're gonna be inside the waist. And as you can see, they got the tuckable clips here, which you can uh, put your shirt right in front of it. And all you do is have the Cadex holster here. All right, so. Another thing we're going to throw in here as well from around the gear is going to be the belly band. Now, I have been carrying this for a few days. Uh, being that it's summertime, we want something that's going to be very comfortable, uh, you know, breathable, as well as just easy to put on and have it on you if you wear a lot of kind of like sweatpants in the wintertime or in the summertime, you wear a lot of, uh, you know, athletic shorts that don't have any kind of belts, loops to be able to carry firearms or either leggings or something of that nature you can have something like this carry it on you have a firearm at you at all times while you're doing your exercise running whatever it may be or just run to the store right quick you can throw this right on now these are basically made for smaller compact size uh, i do have one but i do have one with a light which is the p365 and as you can see you have um, the pouches right there which is elastic that you can either work for left handed or right handed side and it got a little bit of rice here for your back of your slide, your back of your firearm. You also have a long little pouch here, which you can stick your wallet or your cell phone in here. And as well, your extra magazine, which is not really much tension on it, but something to be able to carry extra magazine as well right here. As you can see, it's very wide, so you can carry many size, different size magazines uh, in that nature. And you have the wide, um, you know, pouch up here for your cell phone, as you can see. Uh, and it's just pretty much a uh, neoprene type material and it's got holes right here on the side where it can be um, breathable on your skin while you're wearing it. And of course it's Velcro as you can see. So let's go first with the holsters here and then we'll talk about this at the end. So stay tuned. All right guys, we're gonna start with these Nomad Defense uh, pistol here. If you haven't seen the review on this, make sure to check the channel. Just recently did a review on this firearm. It's very phenomenal great quality and very nice overall. So, as you can see, the weapon mounted light holster, it is reversible. So if you are left-handed as well, you can switch your clip and have to carry it left-handed if you're left-handed. So that's a good thing. It's versatile and ambi, whatever you wanna say. But as you can see, it's gonna be basically uh, work for the light that you choose to carry and make sure you get the correct uh, mount light holster for this. Now, cool thing about this, guess what? You can rack it while it's holstered. Now, again, we're gonna try appendix and we'll see what we can do as far as drawing and from concealment. All right, this is my first time using it. And again, I'm just very skeptical about the holster. We'll talk about it here in a second, but let's do some draws here right quick. So, very nice and easily. Get used to holstering, it's no thing. All right. So, as you can see, it is very nice for appendix carrier, so it works for appendix, strong size, whatever you may be, but. All right, 
So as far as growing it, uh, it is a little bit different than your standard poster because of the way it's made. Uh, I did have a little bit of issue drawing it. It is a little bit more harder to draw from it. And the reason I say that because this is being a clamp design. It does clamp down. That's what puts the retention on it. And it is a little bit harder to pull, but as far as drawing it, uh, it's easy to do so uh, once you get used to it. It is comfortable uh, as far as carrying it. If you're sitting down, just adjust it to the, uh, you know, where you need to. And if you sit down, uh, it's not going to be as bad. The good thing about this, it doesn't feel real bulky uh, with your standard type holsters. And it just feel more comfortable. As you can see, you still have a great way to draw your weapon. Again, it's going to get get used to it to drawing it from it from concealment but one thing i have one main concern about this we'll talk about it is once you do a lot of drawing from this this is going to get hot so it's going to be barely uh you know any kind of cover on it as far as when it does gets hot so be careful with that it's going to get hot and it's going to be right against your junk <laughs> or right against your uh you know your uh skin right here down below and it does get a little warm so it's going to be a little bit tricky when you do have to do training with this type of holsters, uh, that's the only concern I have as far as that goes, that the firearms will get hot and you have it real close to your skin and it does get warm down there after a while. So that's the only reason I'm doing a few rounds because it does start to get a little warm and it's not going to be able to feel good against your skin. Uh, let's try the other one, which is going to be for my AMP here. And again, the cool thing about this, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, no matter what kind of firearm you have, as long as you have the light that's compatible with the holster, it will work. And as you can see, uh, it does cover the trigger guard, but it does have a little bit of room here, which um, we'll talk about later as well. So let's uh, make it hot. Put the safety on. And let's put it on my strong size, just my belt. If you like to get a core belt, make sure to check core essentials for your EDC belt, battle belts, whatever it may be. They do have a battle belt now. If you haven't seen those, check down below as well or somewhere in the playlist to find that video. All right, so let's draw a strong side here on MMP and do some draw from and see how well I can draw from. So here we go. It's a little bit more intuitive, not intuitive, but just mindset that you to holster this back in your holster because it is a little bit smaller and, you know, awkward in that nature. So, issues that's why I got a safety on here sometimes a little bit hard to get it back in a holster and again here we go safety on but as far as putting on take it off fairly easy to do so all right let's continue bugs everywhere with this one because it's got a comp so it's a little bit longer so but on that all right so as far as drawing it again you'll get used to it uh it's not that hard but you can draw from it uh depending on how much tension you got against you it's gonna determine how hard it is to pull it out just like any other codex. Again, there's no retention on this at all. Just a clamp shell holster and the clip. And again, you can choose different type of clip because it's got different holes. And again, it's reversible for left-handed or right-handed. So that's a good thing. It'll work for either one. So let's step back to my table. 
give my opinion, and then tell you what I like and don't like about this. So stay tuned. All right, guys, almost forgot, but let's uh, talk about the belly band. The belly band, again, it's got its pros and cons about things, but with this design, we'll talk about it at the end, what I think about it, and what should I change, and what would I make it more, uh, you know, and better for myself, in my opinion, uh, and that may work a little bit better than others. So, again, this is the belly band from Round Gear Concealment Express. Again, as you can see, it's a very small compact pistol. Again, if you wear jogging pants, leggings, or, uh, you know, athletic shorts, and you don't have a belt loop or anything to carry a firearm, this is the way to go. Um, again, it's stretchy, it's got uh, Velcro on it, easy to take on and off, and uh, it's breathable in my, uh, what it's made for. But they run about 40 bucks if you're interested to get something like that. All right, so let's do some draws. Just a few rounds here. Now, as far as putting the firearm back on, it's gonna be a little more slow or more difficult than your standard codex type, you know, holster because it's an elastic band. You have to kind of fit it in there and everything, but it's gonna be something to be able to carry. As you can see, you got the spare mag here. I only got one or two rounds in there. And as you can see, it does print a little bit because I got a little bit of gut. So it's gonna push it out and show the top part of the firearm and the grip here, as you can see. But again, uh, if you wear a hoodie or something or just baggy more shirt, uh, it's gonna be better than nothing. So, all right, here we go. Let's do some draw. there but we got through so as far as holstering it's gonna be a little more difficult it takes a little time but i'm able to grab the firearm when i need it and you have your spare mic here so all right let's step to the bench and give my final opinion stay tuned all right guys so we're back inside it was a little hot and bugs everywhere so i wanted to finish this video by pretty much telling the pros and cons and again this is just my opinions uh everybody got different opinions on what they think about products that's what we do videos like this so all around as far as the weapon line holsters they are very comfortable in my opinion and they do what they're supposed to uh again the advantage of this is you don't have to have a specific weapon just a light compatible to be able to uh you know clip into it and be able to carry a firearm whatever firearm you have again being that the nomad defense is very difficult to find a holster it's going to be compatible this will make that issue go away as far as compatibility because again it clips into the light again with a tlr streamlight and the tlr7 and again surefire 300x is the ones they have available right now i'm sure more later on they will have more compatible lights available for those type of holsters again very minimal again comfortable and everything it is versatile like i mentioned before so you can swap it for left or right handed shooter and again i think a very nice well made type of weapon line holsters now pros like i was saying minimal comfortable easy to put on and off and everything uh, as far as that goes again versatile left or right and compatible with any weapon because of the light cons Cons gonna be holstering. Holstering could be a little bit more difficult as far as that goes inside the waist. A little finicky about that being that is um, open type holster. Uh, just be careful when you do try to holster. The best thing to do is just take it off and reholster your weapon that way. That won't have any um, negligent this far in your pants, so we don't want that. <clears throat> and that, in my opinion, be the best way to holster these uh, type of holsters back into your waist. And again, it's very easy on taking off. Uh, another con is going to be if you're going to do a lot of training uh, drawing with this weapon, uh, especially if you got a compensator, uh, again, it's going to get hot. 
the frame is going to get hot so you got nowhere to cover that uh, if you wear inside your pants and you do, do a lot of drills uh, you know drawing and firing this is going to be real hot and it's going to be directly in contact close to your skin so take that in consideration when you um, you know try this type of holsters again it's not going to have a lot of shield against the heat of the firearm so you might get burned so be careful with that especially if you have a comp it's going to be really really hot inside your pants so that's the only two cons so take that in consideration again it all depends on what you want and how you want to carry all right so put this to the side and let's talk about this belly band <sighs> There's a lot of lot of markets out there for this belly bands. Many manufacturers are coming out with a very easy, simple type of holster to carry, especially during the summer. And like I was mentioning for, uh, you know, sweatpants or uh, sports uh, type uh, shorts uh, without a belt and be able to carry a firearm while you do any kind of running, uh, exercise, or maybe outside or just want to, you know, have something more comfortable and, and, and be able to carry any type of firearm. Uh, especially small frame firearms, you'll be able to do it with this. And again, it's going to be versatile for left or right hand shooter. The only thing I don't like about this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and I haven't worn this maybe one or two times. Uh, and the reason why, because this is a size large. It's still too loose for me for once. Another thing is, it's way too wide for me, in my opinion. Uh, for what it is and again it all comes to design it all comes to preference it may be work for some people but for me it's a little too wide uh, I do not think this helps a lot as far as new print around your waist um, it does help a little bit not much for me I sweat a lot in the summertime so it's very 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 hot in my opinion for me uh, to where it is all day long and um, as far as the magazine pouch it's not too much of it could fall if you do a lot of running uh, you have a cell phone but use this however you want it spare magazine wallet keys whatever you may be if you don't care a lot of stuff just a credit card or your permit whatever you have somewhere to put it if you don't have any pockets um, and it won't fall out in my opinion uh, depending on what you do uh, I try to adjust this best I could it's not much of a velcro adjustment to be able to tighten it up more but um, on that as far as comfortable i mean it is kind of comfortable i just wish it was a little bit less wider and again there'll be more other videos again on belly bands just to bring bring out views on different type of options they have out there in the market again very inexpensive 35 bucks this may work better for females uh but like i said in a video me having a little bit of gut the firearm does stick out a lot and it's not quite as tight on my around my waist or belly, whatever it may be. Being again, this is size large. I don't know if a medium would have been too small or may have been perfect, who knows. But either way, it's too wide. The positioning of the holster pouch, extra pouch is on the wrong side for me. Being a right-hand shooter, maybe for a right-hand, uh, left-hand shooter could work better. But for me, a right-hand shooter is kind of on far to my right side and it's hard to reach in that position. But as you can see, it's can be, it can be done. But other than that, uh, for me, it's a little bit too wide. Um, being that the size I thought large is going to be uh, perfect for me, it's not. So I need to go medium size. Maybe that'll be a little better. But other than that, uh, for me, it doesn't work. Again, for the position of the magazine pouch, uh, wish they had another one on the other side. Maybe it would have been better. And that would give you an extra pocket. Again, separate the magazine from the wa uh, wallet or phone on the same pocket. Uh, would have been a lot better for me again if they would put it if they would put one of these on this side for right hand shooter so be able to reach the magazine on for your left hand left hand would work perfect and it's ambi again all right for 35 bucks that's something you decide want to get again links down below i appreciate rounded by concealment express for sending these holsters and again the belly band again all comes down to preference my experience and what i like so as far as the holsters let me know down below what you think about this type of horse if it's something that will work for you or it's a safety concern or what may be comment down below what would you change what would you think about having this type of holsters again to me they're comfortable very minimal uh, at that and that's what it was going for and i have that bulky big old holster that wraps around your firearm but again like i said like i mentioned before 
pros and cons to everything all right so that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching as usual make sure the link down below it is affiliated links check down the bottom of the description there are coupon codes and other links available as well that you can help the channel that way give this video a big thumbs up comment down below as usual either negative or positive comments help again and as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you the next one goodbye